What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be going over average tutorials and how you can scale your meta ads for your e-com brand with landing pages, specifically average tutorials. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jeff. I run Daydreamers. We are a Shopify design growth agency working with a bunch of six to eight figure DTC brands, helping them scale their ads, scale their brand with landing pages, product pages, home pages, funnels in general, just to help increase conversion rates, AOV, and spend more on your ads profitably. In this video, I'll be going over what average tutorials are, why they work, an example, breaking down that example, how to structure your own average tutorial, how to apply it for yourself, build one inside of Replo and what to test and what to focus on after launch. So we'll start up with the first part of what average tutorials are and why they work. An average tutorial is basically just like a hybrid. It's a combination of an ad and editorial. So it's almost like an article. It's a sales page disguised as a blog article or personal story. The main point of this is to reduce ad resistance. So it looks like helpful, relevant content. That's not a sales pitch that you are priming the buyer. You're persuading them with a story that reframes certain beliefs biases, anything like that before you get to the offer page. And you're essentially being able to align with how people naturally read and build belief before you can pitch them on your product. Main things is just leveraging a story, right? Having some sort of narrative and a transformation, reframing belief, social proof, as well as like a soft call to action. So this is the example that we're going to focus on today. This is a dog cooling bed. This is a really solid advertorial that we came across. This is not something that we did, but this is just an example of one that you can kind of emulate and take a lot of the great points and apply it for your brand. So I'll also leave this doc in the description below so you can have full access to it. Don't worry about that. But let's go step by step the seven main sections of an advertorial and we'll take it from there. The first one is going to be the hero top fold section, which includes the hero and hero image. The main goal of this is to instantly grab attention frame authority and hint at a particular transformation. In this example, we have a headline that states this groundbreaking cooling bed could save your dog's life and transform their comfort and health during hot 2025 summer with a really powerful sub headline to avoid cooling gel mats because they can be dangerous. So, and of course, with the image, we're showing the product in use with a solid writer, someone, a doctor, more specifically a veterinarian, right? It's relevant to the story and just provides position, credibility, and has that native voice. The main takeaway of this is using dramatic language and also posing a warning. The whole point of this is to spark curiosity and interest for them to keep reading. Anyone who has a dog, you're going to read this headline and this hub headline and at least be curious as to why, or at least what this product is and how it can save your dog's life because that's super dramatic. And even just the warning of to avoid gel masks, you want to understand why as far as like why it could be dangerous. Moving on to the lead, this is the first part of the average tutorial after the top fold. Top fold again has the basic things like a logo, breadcrumbs, headline, subheadline, image. The lead is the first section after that. And this is where you want to emotionally hook and spot the pain and problem that you're that you're talking about. So in this case, we are talking about the idea of heat strokes, using relevant stats, even using specific language as relevant. For babies, this is a lot like a phrase that a lot of dog owners call their their dogs right so using relevant language providing relevant stats numbers to emphasize this particular problem the biggest takeaway for this part is using credible statistics to create urgency real world consequences and calling out shortcomings of current solutions to drive the need for your product and this again just continues to build that curiosity the third is going to be what it is a soft intro to the, to the solution pretty much just introducing the product and positioning yours as the only viable solution. In this case, stuff like it took me six months to find this particular product. You're introducing with specific features of it, ice silk, no dangerous gel, hollow fibers. What's hollow fiber? It's if it's meant to cool and provide comfort. Basically the main takeaway is just to introduce the product, highlight specific selling points and keeping the language simple and emotionally charged. After that, talking about the mechanism, basically how it works and explains to the unique mechanism and simple cause and effect reasoning. Again, it, this is a logical progression of introducing the product and explaining how and why it works and why it's relevant. So you want to describe the specific mechanism. You want to use visual descriptors, right? As well as utilizing really engaging visual images, graphics, whatever the case may be, and go from there. That you want to provide social proof, right? Really hone in on who this product is for, the ideal audience, and handle objection via testimonials. So the example, we have stuff from vets, but also from dog owners. They provide customer images, like actual user generated content, images, real photos, context, they talk about their, their pups and how it helped them. So again, the main takeaway is to clear, clearly define the audience 
use real photos and stories from other customers and insert testimonials. After that, just reinforcing the benefits, the stacks, for providing and framing your product as the true, the best alternative to all these other aspects. So you can see some of the screenshots you see from the show here. Main takeaway is just providing differentiation, really just positioning your brand as the ideal solution for someone in the market for this. And someone for someone who's not even in the market, who didn't even know that this was a problem, you are framing your product as the only solution for the problem that you're highlighting. And the final section is just the guarantee, close and call to action meant to create urgency, explain next steps, provide reassurance. In this case is positioning the brand, this site in particular over Amazon or eBay, making sure that people are buying directly from them and not going to an Amazon, for example, right? You also want to frame and provide scarcity, urgency, really strong guarantee, great value props, great offer, free shipping, interest-free payments, warranty, free returns. Again, scarcity not sold anywhere else. There's a special price and you have to act now. So real quick, just a quick recap headline hero lead what what the product is as far as like the actual problem you're solving introducing the, the product how it works who it's for social proof exactly what it does in framing your product as only solution or only option and then providing that call to action next step is actually building out inside replo on any page builder or even hard coding it we prefer to use replo just because of how easy it is to take some of these templates here and then copy paste into replo and then just shift around the the content to fit your your copy content, all that. So in the doc, I left some gifts. So I won't spend too much time there, but it's all drag and drop. It's super easy to use and make sure that you follow all that. Again, all copy and paste, drag and drop your, your content and kind of go from there. Part is what to test, the launch, pretty much how to test and craft different editorial angles, layouts. In my opinion, just to simplify all of this, the three most important things to be testing, of course, there's a bunch of other ones after that, but the headline or, and plus up headline, the main image and then the lead, the intro lead are gonna be the three main levers that you wanna test, the main variables to test. Again, you can test other things as well. The the story, the, the offer, the page layout structure, the specific images that you're using, but keep it focused on the headline, which is the first and most important thing. The image, the main top fold, the top image that you, that you see, as well as the intro lead. Keep it those three. We'll go over ideas, different frameworks to follow in this section right here. But I just wanna introduce that idea of testing those three things first before you test anything else. So the first, Framework is going to be the comparison plus sustain sustainability solution. So comparing a alternative to your product. So here's a quick headline framework, tired of X problem, try this better alternative, or even something like a common enemy, and then pitting that, framing that as the enemy or the, the problem, and then framing your product as a solution. Here's an example there. The second one is like a relatable outcome for a specific audience, things that they actually want. So wake up to a positive outcome. Here's how X audience X avatar can do it too. So you're calling out what they want and then specifically explicitly tar calling out a particular audience for that. So in this case, I wake up refreshed with no more tension headaches. Here's how over 50s can experience the same. Third, authority, aspirational promise is similar, but something to build credibility and offer a particular goal that they're looking for. In this case, new military grade muscle simulator, right? It's putting some sort of like new thing, this, this new authoritative angle unlocks rapid fat loss and muscle growth for those 40 plus so it's exactly what they're looking for and calling out the audience fourth leading with social proof and curiosity what makes x product the most popular in the world or 100,000 people swear by this product here's why sparking curiosity interest calling out a particular audience and getting them to continue to scroll fifth natural and safe solution positions your product as the best solution against all the alternatives out there. So an, a natural way to achieve gold without harsh chemicals. Sixth is a shocking revelation, again, sparking curiosity, but using a surprising fact and then to spark intrigue and encourage people to change what they're currently doing. In this case, when I found out these symbols, what these symbols really mean, I almost stopped recycling. This is like, whoa, I gotta keep reading to find out more. Seventh is again, super similar to what we've seen before, but just a transformational outcome. Even her doctor assumed she was 20 years younger. A lot of women who are old, like older demographic, 40s, 50s, 60s, want to look younger. That's a common goal, common outcome that they're looking for and leveraging the authority of professional to use that as a frame. How X product can make you look and feel Y result. Eight, relatable story, problem solution. This is typically in the first person narrative or first person frame. How I solved X problem after struggling for so many years. How I went from living on painkillers, this is their current reality or their past reality, their current problem, to alleviating my neuro 
neuropathic pain with this alternative solution. People living on painkillers don't want to live on painkillers. They feel like they have to. We're pr providing that solution to their problem. And then ninth and final one is just like a unique mechanism. In this case, you're going to talk about like a new, a new unique way this product, X product solves Y problem or pain point. Innovative shrimp bait naturally lures roaches and other nasty pests to their doom. People that are struggling with roaches or different pests, insects, stuff like that are looking for something that's new, a unique, innovative mechanism that's going to solve their problem better than ever. Again, I'll leave this doc in the description below. And all these are just frameworks, examples, just to help you spark, spark the process, the creative process there of thinking of different angles. That's just a way to start that process, give you guys a framework. But I've also learned some resources, some examples, some copy and paste templates, swipe files for a page we've designed, um, my, my Twitter link, my YouTube link, all that. But yeah, I hope this helps. See you in the next one.